Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM Station. Today, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to create basic mechanical component by using NX12. This tutorial I made for beginners, so beginners make sure you watch this video till the end because this tutorial is going to be very helpful for you if you are interested in learning NX12. So before starting this video tutorial, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon, share it with your friend and write below into the comment section and tell me what you think about this tutorial and what other videos you want to see in the upcoming future. So this is all it is I want from you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first thing that after you are entering into the NX uh, window so this is what you will see so what I am going to show you here is this component so you can uh, screenshot this or pause the video and take all the dimensions as you can see on your screen here I am just going to show you that how to create this simple mechanical component by using NX12 and uh, there is one more other component that I'm going to show you is this one so let's first start with this component so if you already know that or if you want to try your skill inside NX12 so you can pause this video and uh, start using these dimensions and create uh, this model inside NX or you can watch this video uh, and uh, get some information that how you can create this so uh, let's just see how to start and from where we're gonna start this so this is the base as you can see here so I'm gonna start with these two dimensions 36 by 37 so this is going to be the base of my sketch from where I'm gonna start 36 by 37 millimeter all dimensions are in millimeter so let's just jump into the NX12 here you will see again you can start by clicking on this sketch button once you click on it and select the plane on which you want to create your sketch then click OK now 36 by 37 so it is a rectangular shape so I'm gonna click on rectangle starting from the center and going to click on this center point so first enter is 36 then 37 angle 0 degrees so now as you can see we are set with these two dimensions on 0 degrees now you can finish the sketch to extrude it so in order to rotate this view you can click on your keyboard F7 to rotate or you can click on your middle mouse button to rotate this sketch so after that you can click on X or click on extrude to extrude this feature click on it click the sketch so here you are about to enter the extrusion height so let's check so here it is it is 11 millimeter extrude height so in the end condition enter the value 11 and click ok now what you have to do is go back to this and uh, what I'm gonna do is and from the top view here you can see um, we have this feature like this one I'm gonna create this one 8 millimeter and I'm gonna extrude it up to 32 millimeter of height from the bottom surface click on sketch click on this bottom and click OK once you are here again select this rectangle and select the first one two point rectangle start from this point and end it over here select the small dimension and enter the or you can 
double click on this dimension like this and enter the value 8 and click on close so as you can see we are making this sketch on the bottom or the ground surface so now I'm gonna extrude this feature up to 32 millimeter of height so again you can directly click on this extrude feature and uh, I'm gonna change its direction by going to the directional and change its direction and uh, enter the value 32 and select unite and click OK once you are done with this feature I'm gonna create another feature on the bottom select sketch on this surface and click OK so as you can see I'm gonna create this rectangular feature which is having the dimension 11 into 9 millimeter so here is click on rectangle two point rectangle and start from this vertex select point on curve and click here again you can drag this out double click on it and uh, 11 by 9 so click on it and enter the value 11 and here double click on it and enter the value 9 and close it now we are having one rectangular feature it is not aligned on this so you can drag it and uh, make it coincident with this like dragging and dropping so it is now fixed now you can click on the center line or I am going to create the the other rectangle on the other side by using mirror command so you will find mirror command by clicking on this arrow drop down arrow it will expand the menu and uh, here you will see mirror curves so once you click on it it will give you another window which asks you to curve to mirror and uh, this is the curve I want to mirror so select it it will select the sketch in continuity and then you have to click on center line like here to select it and highlight this area and select the axis on which on which you want to mirror this sketch so I'm gonna click on Y axis here and it will ask you to select what you want to select so select this y-axis datum coordinate system click on it it will mirror the uh, rectangular feature on the other side and click ok once you are satisfied so now is the time to extrude these two uh, rectangular features so you can check the extrusion height from here so here is a 19 millimeter of height of extrusion so I'm gonna directly click on without exiting the finish sketch so I'm gonna click on extrude it will automatically select and I'm gonna change its direction it is in unite double click here and enter the value 19 click OK and it will create those feature on this place so now is the time to create this as you can see is this pocket from the top you can see it is 19 uh, millimeter away from the back side from here 19 millimeter from this uh, surface so I'm gonna and one more thing it is a 9 uh, millimeter of radius that is uh, 18 uh, millimeter of diameter or you can simply attach or make tangent to these two uh, parallel lines so I'm gonna stick to this I'm gonna create a center line from uh, but before click on sketch and select the top surface and click on OK now I'm gonna create a center line from this point to this 
uh, then click on this line like this and convert to reference and now you have to click on this circle create a circle having a diameter of 18 now you can go to rapid sketch click on the back side and on the center of your arc click here enter the value 19 and close it now as you can see here we have uh, this circle right at the position now I'm gonna create uh, a pocket so the pocket I'm gonna create is I'm gonna create a line from here and uh, it is going towards this direction and then back to uh, these circles coordinate point outer position so there are two ways you can create this you can either select the line start from this position and uh, dragging and clicking and creating it but I'm gonna show you another command here is uh, curve projection curve projection so how it is going to be work here let me just uh, select uh, when you click on this drop down menu you will uh, see the option here the project curve this is the project curve option which will help you to create a sketch uh, without taking a line command like from here so once you click on it it will ask you to select the curve so I'm gonna highlight this edge and uh, I'm gonna highlight this edge okay so I am having these two edges so I'm gonna click on OK so we have these two cyan color lines created now I'm gonna click on this line and I'm gonna join this and this so I don't need this circle so I'm gonna trim it so how I gonna do it so you can select quick trim or hit T on your uh, keyboard so once you click on it it will ask you to trim so select the curve which you want to trim select it and select it now you will see there is uh, a red color dimensions appear that means uh, it is over defined so why it is over defined because uh, it is tangent to this position and uh, this line is equal to the diameter of uh, this circle so it is interfering with each other so uh, what you have to do is to click on it and just simply delete the uh, dimension it will resolve the sketch so uh, from the isometric view you will see that we are uh, good to go to create the pocket so in order to do that you have to click on extrude again change the direction from uh, under the boolean operation click on subtract and under the limits or end condition you have to click on until next and then you can click on ok so now you can see we have a uh, pocket right inside of this two rectangular feature and uh, what we have to do now is uh, we have to create this arc like here and uh, this uh, radius as you can see the this arc is uh, mm, uh, having the dimension of uh, 18 millimeter radius so for doing this you can simply use edge blend and uh, click on these two edges and enter the radius equals to 18 and click on ok so it will do the job so other thing I'm gonna create an edge and enter the value of 6 as you can see here uh, we have 6 millimeter uh, radius or fillet on this direction so I'm gonna click on these two edges so here you're gonna go apply and close it now you can see we have created successfully the first component let me show you one more thing so so 
once you click on this icon and click on show and hide feature you will see there are numbers of um, plus and minuses uh, which basically means plus means show hide means minus so under the sketches you can click on hide sketches it will uh, hide all the sketches which you have on your main component and then you can close it so this is uh, the first component we uh, just draw using NX12 so let's jump on to the uh, other component which is this how you can create this by using NX12 this is also going to be very easy tutorial and uh, make sure you watch this video if you don't know how to design this one but if you uh, think that you can draw it by yourself then you can pause the video and try it for yourself otherwise you can watch uh, my video to see how i am going to create this uh, mechanical component by using annex so again i'm gonna create the basic uh, bottom uh, base uh, i'm gonna create a feature a rectangular feature 50 by 30 uh, millimeter of rectangular so let me just create a one more uh, file here under the model I'm gonna click on ok so again click on sketch click on ok under the rectangular feature click here so 50 by 50 by 30 and 0 now you can exit now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude it up to 20 millimeter of height like here you can see I'm gonna extrude it up to 20 millimeter so enter the value 20 and click OK and uh, now is the time to create a sketch or uh, I'm gonna create a circle first uh, which is going to be uh, 13 millimeter of radius and uh, that means 26 millimeter of diameter and let me just create this on the mid plane like here select the mid plane xz datum and click on ok now i'm gonna create a circle of diameter 26 as you can see i have just created 26 millimeter diameter of circle and it is uh, 28 millimeter of height so double click here and enter 28 millimeter of height like this now as you can see it is on 28 millimeter right but it is still moving left and right uh, i'm gonna create a tangent uh, constraint with this one without uh, creating any line how are you gonna do this just simple go here under the more click on it and click on geometric constraint once you click on it it will give you several options you can click on tangent once you click here it will ask you to select the object click this one again select the second one and click this edge it will make it tangent just like that once you're done you can now create a line joining these two like here and you can also draw a line like this now I'm gonna create a trimming command here and I'm gonna trim this like that now again I'm gonna select this line and I'm gonna join these two lines so from the side view you can see the sketch is on the middle plane here now I'm gonna extrude this uh, equal to 30 millimeter how I am gonna do this I'm gonna extrude it equally on both the side so click on extrude as you can see it is extruding on 
one side but i'm gonna uh, i need to make it uh, symmetric on both the side so to do that you have to click on under the limits go to start and select symmetric values once you click on it you can see here we know that the edge is or this side is 30 millimeter uh, in length but it is uh, the value entered here is 20 millimeter and it is way more big than the range we need to so that means uh, if you need this uh, length equals to 30 millimeter you have to enter half the value which is required so if you need 30 millimeter which is equal to the length of this you have to enter half of 30 millimeter which is going to be 15 millimeter now you can see it just work like that so once you are happy with this you can click on ok so you can see here we have just created this feature now again I'm gonna create a sketch on this plane and uh, I'm gonna create a circle of diameter 16 click a circle now select the center point enter the diameter 16 now you can click on extrude rotate the view change the direction of extrusion now enter the value 30 under the boolean operation select subtract and click ok now you will see the feature is now created we are almost done with the sketch so few more operations are left with we are going to do this cut and after that i'm going to apply the edge blend over here so this cut is going to be uh, eight millimeter inside so again i'm gonna create a sketch so starting from this so vertex, move inside and then again click on it join the bottom then click this and this you will see now double click on this dimension and enter the value 8 millimeter and click close now under the isometric view you will see that the sketch is on the mid plane, plane. now I'm gonna extrude cut it and uh, as you can see i need uh, extrusion equally on both the side as we know that it is 10 millimeter uh, of uh, extrude cut feature 10 millimeter so i'm gonna enter half the value under symmetric value so half the value of 10 millimeter is 5 enter the value 5 5 and click apply and cancel now you will see that we just created a extrude cut feature and now it's time to create a edge blend of a radius 8 millimeter so click on edge blend and enter the value 8 and hit enter and click the edge and click ok so now you can see we just create two features but before uh, completing this we need to uh, hide all the sketches so under this go show hide or you can click on control plus w and hide all the sketches and close it so this is how you can create a simple mechanical component as you already know that this is very uh, beginners friendly uh, models and should be able to create right inside annex uh, by a beginners very easily and i hope i give you a lot of very useful information during this tutorial if you think that i have missed some point uh, while creating this tutorial so please let me know into the comment section and if you find this tutorial very helpful and um, want to share your love with me then you can subscribe like and share my videos so this is it for now i will definitely going to share more uh, mechanical components like this or some advanced as well so this is it for now 
You are watching CatCam Station, signing out for now.